We're going to go ahead and reuse this form, but we're going to add some functionality to it. And we're going to run a second query, and it's going to be the delete query. And you got to be really careful with this query. Um, and that's why you'll find uh, I always put in a status column in my tables um, because many times I'd rather just disable something um, and you know, make it so it's not visible on the front end of the website where people see but it's still saved in my database so that if I want to turn it back on I don't have to re-input it in whereas deleting is destructive um, as opposed to non-destructive editing and we can't get it back without re-inputting it. However, there is still a need to have delete. So what we'll do is we're just going to add to our list here of navigation items. So outside of the closing A tag here, we're going to add another link. And I'm going to put it within brackets just for kind of style value. Um, so we'll do A href equals and we'll go ahead and pound sign that for the moment. Close that. And put another square bracket there. And for the link label, we're just going to do delete. So I'll go ahead and save and upload this and just see what that looks like. page. There you go. So we have a second link here for delete. And of course if I click that it doesn't do anything. So let's flip back to Dreamweaver here. And we're going to do something similar here. We're going to do the question mark and we're going to send it the ID because we need to know which item we're going to delete. So we'll copy that, paste it after the question mark. So we have ID equals nav links ID, but now we want to add another parameter. So we'll do the ampersand and we'll do, and we'll make a variable, we'll call it mode equals, and we'll say delete. So we're totally creating this on the fly here. This is, this is made up. So um, you can kind of call this whatever you want. You could change mode to whatever you want and really the delete could be whatever you want it could just be a D or whatever however you want to do it but so we're just gonna choose mode equals delete so if we save and upload this right now and refresh the page if I click on delete it's gonna load our form and the reason being is that right now we have it set up so that if there's an ID given, we need to load the form and load the data in the form. So right now it doesn't matter that mode equals delete. That doesn't mean anything. So we've got a couple of things to do here. One, we need to run something when mode equals delete. But we also need to tell the page to not display the form with the data in it. So let's go ahead and add a second clause to this if statement. So if get ID and, which is done with two ampersands, get mode is not equal to delete. So now this will only load the form if there's an ID and mode is not delete. So let's go ahead and test that. Save and upload. And we'll go ahead and click on delete. There you go. So we're not loading the form. Now we're still not doing anything, but we're not loading the form. And just to make sure that the form still loads if we click on the label. There you go. So now we want to do something if mode equals delete. So now we could put it down here, but we saw what happens if we don't run a query that manipulates the database before everything's loaded. 
So we're going to want to do this up top here. So after the end of that submit clause, we'll go ahead and make it an if get mode is equal to delete then do something. So we're going to run a query query equals so we're going to do delete from nav now like the update query we have to be really careful here because this could run without a clause and it could potentially go ahead and delete all the records so we want to make sure there's a clause so where id equals get ID and go ahead and just for safety limit it to one and let's go ahead and run that so result equals mysql i underscore query database connection and query And we're going to go ahead and run. We'll copy this uh, error handling here. Copy that. We'll paste it here on line 69. And we'll change our message. You have deleted a record. We'll go ahead and make this clause a little more strict. And we'll do if get ID and, and uh, put the uh, single quotes in there. So now it's going to make sure that there is an ID and the mode is delete. So we'll go ahead and save and upload. And we'll reload our page. And to test this, we'll go ahead and let's say we don't want links anymore. We'll go ahead and delete that. There you go. You've deleted a record and now it's gone.